What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today I'm going to be talking about an Irish whiskey tea and the new finish of the Lamy logo. So this tea, the Irish whiskey cream, guess where I got it? Ireland! Um, so coming back from my Europe trip I picked up a couple teas and this was one of them. Um, it's a chai based blend um, and it's just Irish whiskey cream and it is so good. I can smell it through the bag. Um, everything that's written on it is not in English, so I can't read off of the bag. Um, it's 100 grams uh, worth of tea. I believe when I translate it back to Canadian dollars, it was about seven bucks. Um, so kind of average, a little on the cheaper side. Um, it literally tastes like um, like an Irish coffee, like with Bailey's in it. Um, so if you like anything like that, um, I know it's going to be kind of hard to find this, seeing as how not all of you, I'm sure, are in Ireland. Um, but if you find anything like this, like Irish whiskey cream kind of thing, um, definitely get it. I'm going to be in big trouble with this because I'm going to want to drink it every single day, you know, 24-7, but I have to save it. And I'm so sad I should have bought more. I really should have bought more. Um, but we practically backpacked it across Europe, so I really didn't have much space to bring it anything home. Um, but I'm glad I did bring this home and I will savor it because um, it is just amazing. It's a black tea um, which follows the standard black tea kind of blends. Um, you know you put in about a teaspoon into your water um, you know basically full boil. Um, let it steep for about three to four minutes and you can add like milk or uh, you know cream if you wanted to or like sugar or something like that. Um, I add just a little bit of sugar. Um, I actually find that this is perfect with cane sugar um, because it adds that extra little like kind of undertone of like molasses type flavor um, and that I find pairs really well um, with basically the Bailey's flavor of this. Um, so I would absolutely recommend picking up anything that you can find um, saying, you know, Irish whiskey cream or something like that. If I ever find anything that says it, I'm going to buy it regardless <laughs> and hope that it comes close to this because I flip and love it. Um, so if any of you are going to Ireland, <laughs> then pick some of this up for me and I'll get you back. Um, so with the new tea, I thought I would pair a relatively new pen. Um, the Lamy logo has been around for a really long time. Um, and it was never one I really considered, um, but they brought out this new finish called Twilight, um, and it's kind of like a deep purple, um, so apparently they were feeling purple recently with like the Lamy Dark Lilac kind of thing, but uh, it's like a deep purple with, and depending on when like the, go um, the light hits it, it almost looks like there's like a gold shimmer to it, which is super awesome. Um, so I thought I would give one, you know, give one a try. Um, and I'm actually really glad I picked it up. Um, I really dig it. It's solidly built. Um, so it's, I don't know if it's like hard plastic or I'm not quite sure what the body is made out of. It feels kind of like aluminum, um, but don't quote me on that. Um, but it definitely feels really solid. Um, the ends of both, you know, the top and the bottom finial, um, it's just kind of like this metal stainless steel. Um, the clip is amazing on this pen. Um, it's like perfect as far as like what you would want. You can actually see it move there in the top. Um, I really really dig the clip. Um, I'm not a fan of really of the clip on the All Star and Safari so I like that this one's really different. It also is a snap cap push to post and it posts on that little kind of metal barrier there um, so it posts really well it obviously has a place to go I don't post it because it becomes a little bit too long for my hand when it is posted um, but if you do have larger hands then that would be perfect for you um, and it posts securely unposted fits perfectly in my hand um, so I don't the grip section is basically the exact same material as the body, um, but it's slightly, like well, I guess not even slightly, it is ribbed. Um, so it provides some texture um, for you to really grab onto 
while you are writing. And I really dig it. It's a little bit narrow, um, you know, to, to hold on to for very long writing sessions. Um, so I find after about 40, 45 minutes of writing with this pen, um, my hand does start to fatigue a little bit. Um, but for the, you know, most part of my writing day, it's perfect. The nib is the same nib that you'll find on the Safari or the All Star. Um, so there's nothing really different there. Um, but I like um, the look of this a lot better than the Safari and the All Star. Um, so I think this would be a really good alternative pen if you're not a fan of that triangular grip. Um, one thing I will say though, when this lid basically snaps onto the body, it has caused a little bit of the finish to come off. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that really. No, I'll try and overlay an image, but it has caused a little bit of the finish to come off right where it grips on, like right uh, where the body starts, uh, the grip section starts. Um, so that's kind of annoying, but it's there. Um, currently, I have the Lamy Dark Lilac uh, converter in here, or cartridge in here. Um, it does take a converter, but it does not take the same converter as the um, Safari and the All Star. So the one with the red end, um, which I believe is the Z24, I want to say, um, does not take that. It takes the Z26, which is the black one. And if I got those mixed up, I'll have it in the annotation below. Um, so that is slightly annoying. The All Star and the Safari take the red one. Um, the Studio, the Lamy Studio and this one take the black one. Um, so that's kind of annoying because I have like seven of the red ones just lying around. With any Lamy though, I do like that they are using the same nibs. Um, so if you have any nibs from another like, well, Studio, uh, Safari, All Star, anything like that, the nibs are completely interchangeable. Um, so I really like that you can buy one pen and you can get all the different nibs. So you could get, you know, anywhere from an extra fine up to like a 1.1 if you wanted to. Um, so I really appreciate the fact that you can swap those in and out. So I don't know about you, but I think that's enough blabbing about this guy. Let's jump into the writing sample and I'll show you what it can do. All right, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Um, ink is the Lamy Dark Lilac. I figured it's a nice kind of fitting to this guy. Um, and the nib is a medium steel nib. Um, so this is a, a pretty typical Lamy nib. I mean, it's the same as when I did the Safari and All Star. Um, you know, it, it's what I would consider average. Um, it's not really a super wet pen. Um, I would say it's, it's on the drier side without being dry um, but most of the like Lamy Safari All-Stars kind of things are um, you'll get you know a little bit of line variation if you are willing to really press down on that nib um, you can probably get from a medium to a broad but about, about a step up um, as far as reverse writing goes You definitely can, you may get some skipping, but it is crazy scratchy. Um, I will say that I have probably seven different like steel Lamy nibs. Um, all of them have been super smooth right out of the box, except this one. This one was a little bit scratchy. Um, the tines were aligned, um, but it was a little bit scratchy, so I did have to fix it a little bit. Um, but I would say for the most part, um, you should be safe, you know, as far as the smoothness goes. Um, Quick writing. It definitely keeps up. Um, never had an issue with any Lamy or, uh, you know, All Star, any Lamy in general, to be honest, um, with hard starting or skipping. Um, they always flow very nicely as far as that goes. Um, so that's definitely not a concern of mine. Um, I, I like it. I, I like the feel of the grip. Um, I definitely feel like I have a good grip on it. Um, 
and it writes really well. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this pen. Um, I would recommend it certainly if you do not like the All Star or the Safari um, because I know that the triangular grip can sometimes annoy people. Um, but if you are looking for a Lamy pen, um, definitely pick this one up. I think it's a great alternative um, to the All Star or Safari um, while still getting the same general feel uh, of them. Um, but guys, that's about it for me today. Uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like the video and haven't yet done so already, please hit that subscribe. Uh, new videos come out every Monday and Friday noon Eastern time. And uh, don't be afraid of that comment section below. You know, write any comments, questions, or concerns down there. I read them all and I try and answer them all as soon as I possibly can. Cool. I uh, will see you guys next week. Bye.